So you want to make anime speed lines and clips through to your paint, but you have no idea where to start. Well, that's the topic for today, so follow along with me as I show you just how simple it can be. Let's get straight into it. So let's start this off by opening up a new animation file, and then let's get rid of the animation folder. Let's add a new layer, new empty layer, basic layer, and come over to filter. Then go to render and noise. We're gonna add this noise. We're gonna go to the scale section and take it down to 30. Now I wanna add a little softness to it, so I'm gonna go to blur, guys and blur, and put this at 20. That's fine. So now the next step you wanna go to is layers new correction layer, brightness and contrast. So we're gonna crank this contrast up to 100 and bring this brightness down to about 40, 45. Let's do 40, negative 45, I'm sorry. Make sure it's negative, negative 45. All right. So now that we have this base, well, what we want to do is come to the layer with all little specs on it and we're going to select it and we're going to come over here to your tool properties and you're going to go make sure that this keep um, aspect ratio is unchecked you're going to go to the width and crank it up to a thousand all right and we're going to do this one more time but you got to accept it first that makes that rasterized layer permanent so let's select it again. Come over here to the width. Crank it up to a thousand. If you're having a problem with this on your computer, cranking it up to a thousand twice, you can do maybe a thousand and then another 500. While we're waiting for this to load up, if you're thinking about buying Clip Studio Paint, use my affiliate link down in the description. It's a fair exchange. If you was gonna buy it anyway, why not help me out? Okay, now that this is loaded up, you can see that we have our speed lines. These are those dots stretched out. It's very simple. And we're gonna use motion tweening to get this done. So let's zoom out a little bit so I can have a better perspective. And what I wanna do is select this layer. I'm waiting for it to, there we go. And um, I'm just gonna move the beginning of this layer if I can get, find it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move it over to the canvas. Select it. And if you're having problems selecting it and keeping it inside the canvas, just hold shift and let's zoom in, all right? Yeah, so hold shift while you're selecting a layer and then it'll stay in, it'll stay in its place, basically. Okay, so now that we have that, what we wanna do is turn on keyframes. And we're gonna go ahead and add a keyframe. This is the starting point. Remember, if you watched the last video, it's just like how we did the clock's eyes. So now that we have this set up, I wanna move over to about three seconds. And we're gonna use the object tool. And we're gonna go ahead and slide this over. Let's slide it over a lot. I wanna slide it over a whole lot. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit more. All right. That should be enough. That didn't get all of it, but that should be enough. So now what we've done is added a new keyframe at three seconds. And that is gonna to have to cycle to get to that three seconds. And this is what it would look like. Boom. Now you have your quick speed lines. So let's see what it would look like on top of another layer. But there's two ways to go about using this. So if I put another layer under it and then I fill it with green, you don't see the green. Why don't you see the green? It's because this is a solid layer and there is black in this image. So if we go up to this layer and go to blending mode and switch it to lighten, 
now you can see what is behind this layer. And you can change the bottom layer behind, the solid color layer behind it to any color you would like. Not a big deal. This works very well. For these simple backgrounds it does. But the problem is, is if you want to put a background that you've drawn or some other video in, be in behind it, it does a weird distortion uh, to the image. Something you don't want. So to get around that issue, what you would do is get rid of the paper, get rid of the color, and you would export this as a video. So you go to file, export animation, movie, and name it whatever you would like and uh, export it as an MP4. And when you bring it into the video program that you're gonna edit it in, just go to the blending mode and turn it to screen. Turn it to screen and it'll work just fine. All the black will disappear. So it's that easy. In Clip Studio Paint, that's how you make speed lines. I think that's enough for this video. If you learn something, share it with somebody. Maybe they'll learn something too. And as always, anime life forever. A do 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 do. A do 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 do. A do 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 do.